Hey guys, it's Machine Dana and Twitch has just made some significant design overhauls and changes to their design. So um, that's kind of annoying. It means basically everyone, if they want a channel to look nice, needs to change all their artwork and all the rest of it. Some people may have paid for artwork and stuff, so that's kind of even more frustrating for the people that have paid. I'm going to quickly go into this video about how you can design around the video panel that you see. Um, they may change it again. I wonder if maybe at some point they'll put a, a function or a widget on there that allows you to turn, turn off or on those videos, uh, the video panel that is there across the top of the screen. Uh, I'm not a Photoshop whiz or expert, but I, I used to work in marketing, so I've got a, a reasonable eye for it. So let me just quickly show what it looks like at the moment. So the, the video banner, let me, let me just change the scene. The video banner itself used to be uh, just just a clean banner, and obviously now we've got this video in the, in, in a status update on on there, so it's a show reel. It's quite nice. It's good that they're designing these and changing them, but it obviously does present some challenges for people. For me, I've got Little Sonic here, Donatello, um, Cloud Strife, and Charizard. Um, they're all now not visible, and obviously it's in, interfering with some of the text and the spacing here. So. Uh, previously, the recommended, um, I, I think Twitch recommend 12, uh, 1200 by uh, 480 pixels um, to design your banner around. That was the previous, but most people, even there, the internet still recommends you do it at 1920 by 480. So 480 is this depth. That doesn't really change. But the width, if you have a 1200 width, pixel width, I'm on a widescreen monitor here, and as you, as you can see, this quality is not disrupted. But if I had a 1200 instead of a 1920 by 480, uh, the, the quality of this would be significantly reduced. So it's worth considering that people have different hardware, and that obviously the banner that you make is going to be uh, displayed on many, many different, hopefully lots of different uh, people's pages. So people's screens, that is. There's obviously a little safe zone here. I'm not sure the value in, in that real estate there. I think maybe some sponsors or something could go there if you've got sponsorships. Possibly the same here. Or maybe you could put something, get creative and put something along the lines of check out my videos or something like that or my status could go there. So there are things you can do with this. But really the design is now left and right and this is the safe zone uh, of the left and right. So I think the recommendation will still be to do it at 1920, rather, uh, 1920 by 480 rather than 1200 480. Um, how, and I just, just to illustrate the point here, you can see the M. So just sort of working out what this kind of inner dead zone is now going to be. On this, uh, I've got a 3440 width monitor uh, by 1440, so it's an ultra-wide monitor. It's about as, as big as you're probably going to see in, in general terms. Some people do have slightly bigger, but uh, that'll cover most. So if you look here, the M is, is not covered on my um, Instagram name. Um, if I then... So I've, I've got a second monitor, which is a lower resolution. It's a 1920 by, um, I think it's 1080, which is a quite a standard monitor size. It's one of the most or the most popular monitor size. So I've taken a snip of what that looks like. This, so I've, across two screens, what my channel looks like. As you can see here on the 1920 by 1080 screen, it covers more of the M than it does on my, um, on my larger monitor. Uh, and the same here, the D machine Dana, the DA is just the A slightly covered on the smaller monitor. And on the bigger monitor, it's obviously showing more of a safe zone. Um, so to, to be pragmatic, if you're doing a 1920 by 480 pixel banner, if you're designing that, um, I'm going to try and work out what it is, the safe zone in, in line with the smaller monitor. And just to sort of put that into context as well, if we go on my display settings, Monitor one is, let's have a look. Yeah, 3440 by 1440. And my monitor two, my smaller monitor is 1920 by 1080. So you need to bear that in mind when you're making them. Uh, I've opened Photoshop for the designing of the banner here. Um, this is, it's got all the layers here. And as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, it's 1920 by 480. That's my canvas size within Photoshop. Um, I can see here that the, on the smaller monitor, so this is the capture that I took just using the snip tool. So Windows has a snip tool. If you do a search for snipping, um, you can then do a, a new snip of your screen just so that you can have it as a on-the-fly image, or you can just press print screen. 
So now what I need to do is work out the safe zone from, from the A. So it's, it's, it's basically there. And it's slightly above the D. So it's probably about there. So in terms of kind of a starting point, if I do a uh, new layer here, uh, I'm just going to call it dead zone. Rectangle tool. It started about there. Now, so we've got, we know what the start point of the square is. It's around about here above the A. And then the end point of the dead zone is going to be just to yeah so where this where this a is just partially interrupting that a down to just above the hand of the charizard okay so if you use windows and the left arrow key and windows right arrow key that'll push the windows to either side uh, obviously i don't know what it is for mac <laughs> so i want to draw the square slightly above the a and I want it going down to it, and bear in mind I can now hold this and just kind of marry up to where it looks right. And now I know it's just above the arm on the Charizard, about there. And it goes towards the A, it just interrupts the A a little bit. So I think the dead zone, about there. And later on in the video I'll just show exactly what that pixelation is, but I think that now is the dead zone. So if I just have this layer at the top, I can do blending options on this. Have it, uh, let's say, 50% opaque, so I can see un what's underneath uh, the dead zone. And this is now a really, really good way of being able to show, right, okay, I need to now design around this layer. Now, if I keep that layer on the top of my design, I can just delete that layer at a later stage and design around it. But if I keep it visible, um, I then can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so it looks like, if I if I just hover my mouse above where I've drawn that dead zone, it looks like the dead zone starts at around about pixel 457. Because I'm on this dead zone layer, which I've drawn here, and I've done it about in line with what I see on the screenshot on the right, I can see that the x-axis starts at 457, and the y starts at 90. So it's about 90 from the top, 90 pixels from the top, and it's about 457 from the right for the top left-hand corner. And then when you're looking at the bottom right-hand corner, I can determine what that is from the measurements up here and on the side. The end of the dead zone is around about 1,340 pixels wide and around about 390 pixels deep. So it looks like you're working with around about a 90 pixel buffer zone at the top and the bottom. Um, and the buffer zone here is around about 457 on either side. It's actually slightly wider on the right hand side than it is on the left. Yeah, you can see that on the screenshot as well. So it actually allows for this arrow key here. You could probably do something playful with the arrow key as well in your design. But there's, it's actually... 408 457 pixels that distance uh, and this distance here looks like it's let's have a quick look so we're on about 1340 so 1340 pixels if i just get the calculator out i know this is 1920 pixels wide take away the 1340 that it is approximately it's about 580 pixels uh, from this edge here so this distance is about 580 pixels so that should help you hopefully design things a little bit better around your um, your twitch banner and then they'll probably change it again in another month or two so <laughs> okay so i've now got my design my new banner design uh, to roughly where i want it to be it's still not perfect um but in the initial sort of tweaking that i've done it's still much better than than what it was when the video was overlaying everything so we've obviously got the dead zone here i've deleted the gray dead zone layer now so it's blank so it's literally just a color but it might be quite a cool effect to actually leave the square under there or leave it as a color so that people can get Kind of playful with that and, and and i'm sure there's a lot of design option there for for the more design minded i'm not particularly design minded um 
but things like that do kind of irritate me when, when changes like that are made. What I've then done is gone on, on my Twitch channel. I've gone to the, uh, the settings here, which will be on the settings tab. In the profile section, you can update the profile banner. Again, it recommends 1200 by 480 pixels but you should do 1920 by 480 because that's the uh, that accounts for the, the kind of uh, larger screen sizes um you can literally just update it by uploading a photo into there once you've got that photo don't worry about it looking stretched on there it doesn't really matter what it looks like there and the end result is a much better so you can see now the dead zone has not got any content within it and the content's been sort of tweaked all i've done in my actual design is just make things a little bit smaller move the figures that were in the middle i've moved them to the side here uh, and resized the logo a touch and that's made a, a big difference this is the 3440 by 1440 version of it it doesn't look too bad and now i've just done a snip on the 1920 1080 screen and you can see here it's uh, it's within the, the the zones there as well. So let me just uh, resize that so you can see the full extent of it. So this goes all the way to the edge, as you can see. Uh, the video screen is still there, uh, and all the content elements are now visible, and they're not being covered up by the video screen. Thing to bear in mind is because of the different screen sizes. A good example of it you can see here, Sonic. You've got some pixelation underneath there, some differences. I prefer him to be on the very bottom of that. So he's actually running on the floor and here he's actually underneath it. This is the exact same picture, but because of the two different screen size rendering, it's changed the slight location of where the picture sits. Twitch really should do better with that, I think, to be honest. You don't get that, that trouble with many other sites. Um, I've also added this daily streams element just under this um, 90 pixel buffer zone there. So again, what that looks like, I'd rather that be right in the middle, but it's it's on, on one screen, on the small screen, it's higher up. On the larger screen, it's actually lower down. So it's a bit weird the way that that does happen, but at least all the content is now within an area. We've actually had to make Charizard underneath this writing as well. So I had to switch the layers around within Photoshop. So Charizard is now all the way down down here rather than up with Sonic and Donatello and Cloud. Um, but that's that. Hopefully you found this a little bit useful. And yeah, it'd be, be interesting to see what you guys can come up with in terms of designs. Uh, and then I'm sure I'm, um, I'm sure that Twitch will, will change it again at some point soon. So uh, if you found this video useful, I don't really do many Photoshop stuff, but I do uh, lots of gaming on Twitch, or you can give me a follow on Twitch. Otherwise, hopefully this has been useful and take care. Thank you.